And yeah guys, since I lately just got my hands on the new Xbox, we're gonna be trying out how good or bad the delay actually is while playing on it with mouse and keyboard. So therefore, I've got everything here prepared, what I need pretty much. And yeah, I'm also gonna show you like the hand cam and everything. And we're just gonna see how good it actually is. And if it actually maybe like is sort of like a good alternative to a gaming PC. I mean, this console costs like $200. So therefore, yeah, that's actually pretty solid. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So yeah guys, and here we are right now actually on the Xbox itself. I can just showcase you guys here. Oh god, wait, don't go, don't go into queue. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna hop like straight up here actually into creative and see how good or bad the delay actually is while playing on mouse and keyboard because I actually hooked up here my Apex and my Endgame XM1 uh, via USB actually into my Xbox Series S. So we're just gonna try it out and see how good it goes. Oh my god, wait, we actually got an opponent. Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be funny now, guys. This is gonna be funny. Oh, Hello? Bro? I think he was talking. Oh my god, my microphone was on. That is so cringe, bro. That is so cringe when they can like hear that I'm recording. Come on, bro. Come on, just, just. God. Oh god. Oh god. Yes. Oh no, we missed. We missed both. Oh my god, what is going on? Where? Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, come here, bitch. Oh my god. No, I'm I'm waffling. Come here, bro. Come on. You know you want this mode. Let's go! Shit on! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, so much better. So guys, I can definitely say like when it comes down to delay, it is noticeable that you're like playing on an Xbox, you know, in comparison to like, I don't know, playing like on a full on gaming PC. But I would definitely say it's like sort of playable. Like if you get actually like used to this, I think you could pull this actually like off in the long term. I'm not gonna lie there. But of course as a PC player, this is like instant noticeable that we are playing on console because the 120 FPS don't feel exactly like 120 FPS on a PC, if that sort of makes sense. Like you, you kind of get like a higher frame rate and everything, it feels smooth, but it's just like super delayed, especially while playing here actually on mouse and keyboard. This is way harder than I thought it's gonna be, oh my lord. Okay, I think like the best point to sort of like explain how delayed it actually is in comparison You know like whenever I do like a PC video, I always do like this one specific edit Where I edit through this, you know, and do like this And then I do like this here, you know, like this edit out And here on console right now, this is like so insanely hard for me I, I literally can't pull this off, I don't know why 
This literally doesn't work here. So therefore, guys, that's like sort of like the best way to explain it. Like, like normal playing would work, I guess, theoretically. But like, if you're trying to do like something more complex, this is gonna be extremely hard, guys. And that's like the best way to sort of like explain the delay on console, actually, uh, while coming from PC. And oh my God, this is <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, almost, almost, almost. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> Bro, this is this is literally not possible, I swear. Okay, I I I let that one count, I guess. But yeah guys, you, you can see like the issue, that's like the best way to, as mentioned, like explain the delay actually here on this console. Or even while playing here on theoretically 120 FPS, but it's, it's, it's still like delayed, I don't know bro. I give up, I give up bro. I, I literally can't do this edit here on console bro. It's literally not possible. Yeah guys, I think this sums it up the best way. If you're coming from last gen, of course you should definitely upgrade to next gen because I mean like 120 FPS is really good. But if you're like a PC player and you're already like used to like literally like zero delay or anything like that, it might not be like the best experience. I'm not gonna lie there. And yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as like a final answer to if it's worth it to get like an Xbox Series S for Fortnite, casually grinding arena you know like maybe playing like one or two cups or stuff like that trying to go maybe for like console cups it is definitely worth it but yeah if you're like really trying to become like the best you could possibly be you should definitely spare your money for like a low budget pc for the same amount of money like three four hundred dollars something like that and you will definitely get like way more out of that and with that said guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help it so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace <laughs>